Hi, my name's Eric. About a third of your income goes towards taxes and government spending, but there's not really a good way to see how that's broken down or how it impacts you. So to try to answer some of these questions, I co-founded Outline.com. At Outline, we'd build public policy simulators. Basically, think Sims, but for real life. So we're working with the state of Massachusetts to build a participatory budgeting application, and I'll show you that right here. So what we're looking at is a budget proposal against the current state budget of Massachusetts. So any effects that we'll see are what would happen to you if this budget were to pass. So let's say I'm married, I drive, uh, I have two kids, and I make $80,000. So under this scenario, I would stand to gain about $1,100. And this is a tree map that shows me the, the, uh, the breakdown of the effects. So we can see that getting most of that negative impact from income tax. So I don't really think income tax should be 8%. I think it should be like 2.25%. So let's calculate, see what happens. And now under this scenario, I'm gaining almost $2,800. And we can see that income tax now, that's where most of my benefit's coming from. But we can also see how it impacts everybody else in the state of Massachusetts. So we can see that almost every single, well, every single zip code is green because the income tax is so low. But we've also bankrupted the state and given it a $13 billion deficit. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's drag income tax at a more reasonable level, set it at about 6%. I'll calculate on every record. And now we can see that some of the state, or some of the zips are uh, green, some of them are red. So this zip code, for instance, has an average impact of negative $228. But that's not the full story, because we also want to see how it impacts people at an uh, income quintile level. So this is from poor to rich. So if you make between zero and $20,000, on average, you'll actually get almost a $1,700 benefit from this policy. And then we can open up this policy to see how that impact is uh, broken down, basically. So most of this benefit is coming from education spending. And then lastly, we can see a Sankey diagram of the money coming in to the state versus the money that the state is spending. And you know, if we change income tax, let's increase state revenue a little bit, do the calculation, and we can see now we've actually got a positive surplus of money. So it's a little closer to balancing the budget. So we're working with the state of Massachusetts. We'll be launching this in January. And basically, I guess you could say we're optimizing democracy with D3. Thank you.